Bunker. A very easy to execute team comp that also takes a lot of team coordination to counter. In older Overwatch, this is like the only time you ever play Orisa. You put a Bastion and then a Mercy to pocket that Bastion, and it almost seemed impossible to get anywhere without just instantly dying. And well, now in more modern Overwatch, it's gotten even worse. They've added Baptiste to make him immortal for a bit. And he also has the window, which makes him do a lot more damage. And then we have Sigma, who gave him that double shield and that extra protection for the Bastion. So this team comp can be very annoying to play against, especially in lower ranks, where team coordination isn't that great. The name Bunker would suggest that they stack all together and hide in a very protective area, but you can also throw this comp on top of a payload and just call it Pirate Ship. If you remember back to my How Not to Feed on Wrecking Ball video, we talked about three types of engages, the hard engage, soft engage, and the pick engage. That video is going to be very important in this one, but I'm going to quickly tweak it because I found a contenders coach who used a pretty much the same concept, but he actually has a better acronym for it. Dive, Duel, and Disrupt, the, the three Ds. And I'm going to be using these terms for th this video and, you know, probably future videos. So, in the situation that you're playing Ball against Bunker, what of the three Ds can you do? Well, all of them can be played. You can go full dive with a D.Va or a Winston, Genji, uh, Tracer or something, etc. All those dive characters. But this takes a lot of team coordination and target focus, but it can work. If you guys just kind of dive in on your own one by one, he the Bastion is just always going to kill you one by one, and it's going to be very hard to get him down, break that bunker, and win the fight or the game. But if you go together as a team and coordinate it, even if he kills one or two, he can't kill you all in that time frame that you guys burst him down. But it takes a lot of time priority, and there are a lot of resources and cooldowns they have to worry about. So some quick tips to help you out if you're going for a dive. You want to get into a position that is a shorter sight line, so that when you jump in on them as Winston or your Diva or Ball or your Squid, everyone, anyone that is jumping on him, they want to get to him without being in his line of sight because he can melt you before you even get to him, right? If your team has a lot of burst damage and you guys think you can kill the Bastion, then you can try it. But if it doesn't work the first or second time, it's probably because they have a lot of resources like Lamp or an Ana Nade or like some sort of high impact healing or defensive cooldowns protecting them because they're going to commit all of the team's resources to keep that bastion alive the whole comp is literally keep the bastion alive sometimes killing the squishy supports will be easier if you can jump in you can like soft engage as we talked about before try to get a kill but if or when you don't get a kill and then use those resources to sustain then you can get out and go in once they don't have those defensive abilities like bat lamp Arisa Gold on an aid. Also, a good note to mention is normally Diva Winston is the better dive combo against a Bastion because you have both the Winston bubble and the Diva Defense Matrix, which both have protection. Ball doesn't really have that protection. His slam and disrupt is going to work on the Bastion. So, a lot of the time, if you're just diving, you do want that better tank combo. And now back to the Triple Ds. Duel. There isn't much picks that you can get against a bunker. They all play super stacked within that double shield within the very close range of each other so it's very unlucky you get a kill but if for some reason the on is alone or their second dps is on an off angle you can look to get those kills but if you're dying to kill someone that isn't pocketing or the bastion then it's not really worth it to trade and the third d disrupt is probably the best one and the most consistent one that you'll find, especially in your lower elos, where team coordination isn't great. The Disrupt. Now this depends on where they are set up, but a lot of times, a single boop will just completely displace their comp. Now you still need coordination if you're just doing this style, because if you boop them out and your team wasn't ready to follow up, or there was no coordination involved, then the people that you booped will just walk back up and reset up their bunker. So you need to get value in that quick time that you boop. These boops have to be a very quick in and out kind of engage, because the longer you're in, the longer they see you, the more you can get stunned, or the more damage that Bastion's gonna do to you. So finding these sneaky angles to boop them off, or boop them out, or just disrupt them, will be pretty good. Just because you disrupted them, does not mean it's time for you to shoot the Bastion. The Bastion is still going to out trade you very hard. 
you're not the one that's supposed to deal damage to him, you're not gonna deal damage to him. If you're playing a boop style, then it's more of so like your ranged DPS, your Hanzo or Soldier, those kind of style DPS to do damage to him. Because as soon as you go to shoot the Bastion, he's just gonna turn and he does way more damage to you than you do to him. Because of his healing and his damage reduction. Now, disruption doesn't mean you have to physically boop or disrupt them. The other form would be point pressure or forcing point. Since Overwatch is an objective based game, if they want to stay bunkered and shoot down your team, you can let them. You can win the objective for free sometimes. It depends on what map and where they are set up, though. If you think about Temple first, it's pretty hard to force point because there's no cover on the point. So as soon as you're touching point, the Bastion or whoever can just turn and burn you. But if you think about a map like Hanamura, first point, then it's a lot easier because you have the bell to play around and hide from that Bastion, and they have to come to point or else you're just gonna cap it free. And on certain payload maps like uh, Dorado or Gibraltar, if they're set up as bunker, if you can get the cart past where they're set up, then they have to move and rotate to a new position and their entire bunker is disrupted because if they don't move, you kind of just win the game for free. Now, if you're unable to do any of those three, then playing for minefield can also be a good thing. It's hard to farm because all you're doing is shooting shields and it's hard to do damage to them without just dying. But if you can get like an off angle and just kind of farm your minefield and just plopping your minefields down on top of them can either get like all the resources out instantly or just, you know, completely break their shields, do a lot of damage, pressure them, even kill them. But other than that, if your team isn't great at diving, and they're just playing super stacked so you can't duel, and they have like some turrets or a brig always watching and bashing you whenever you try to disrupt, or if it's a bad map and you can't force point, then you can't do anything. And if you're unable to do anything on a, on a certain character, then this is the time that you swap. Overwatch is a game about adapting, countering, playing around different situations. If one character was good in every situ single situation, it'd be pretty broken. That's why we've had certain metas, because every character has a weakness, but then their synergies overlap each other and cover each other's weaknesses, like in Double Shield or Goats. But a single character like Ball can't be good in every scenario. Sometimes either you just gotta take the loss or not be a one trick. Anyways, that's all I really have for this video. I'm sorry that I couldn't get any bunker b-roll. I tried to play so many quick play games and I could just not find a game where they play bunker. I'm in GM, no one plays bunker, no one plays bastion. It's just impossible for me to get b-roll and show examples off. But I hope this enlightened you guys and gives you more of an idea of what you should be looking to do. So you're not just going in like a chicken with no head. How's the term? How's it go? Chicken with their head cut off? Yeah, that.